to take it all. Who's going to go for the gold? Oh, seriously? Yeah. I was not. I, it was close match between us, actually. Um, Dude, he always, like, wrecks when he... Like, it's always, like... Out of the blue, yeah, he's just, like, you know what, yeah. let, me, let me blow the dust off this deck here. Oh, okay, now I can kill it. Yeah. Alright, now I'll go back to something else again. I'll see you guys in a month or two. I'm going, yeah, I'll go back to blue-white mid-range now. <laughs> Slow it down for a little bit. Now, this is, surprisingly enough, a tough match for the Naya Blitz deck. Yes. Because, really, you're relying on getting out of the gate super early... Mm -hmm. And going wide and just like, ah, look at this burst damage that I've got. Now, the black-white token is a mid-range deck. Mm -hmm. It's trying to go wide. It's got a good amount of removal, both like single target and it can also play wrath effects. Mm -hmm. um, so it's got life gain involved in it. It's going to be a tough one, especially because it's run... It runs the uh, champions. The 1-1, one, one, whenever a creature in the battlefield, you may gain a life, but it's also got protection from red and black. So some of Lyle's creatures that he wants to play that are normally red, well, those are now not dealing any damage. Now Lyle does have a Tarkus command, and he's running Rancor. So he's got that access to some trample damage and some ways to get around it. He's got some green creatures in there. Experiment 1s. Mm -hmm. Things like that. He loves the Experiment 1. He is all about that guy. I mean, it's a good card. It is. It's a good card. So, we're going to have to see, going into this, the final match of tonight, deciding, basically, Ben has to win his match to potentially tie Lyle and stay one point ahead of him. And Lyle has to lose this match for that to take place. If Lyle wins, and Ben wins, then Lyle pulls two points ahead. If Lyle wins and Ben loses, then he pulls, like, four points or five points ahead or something. Mm. So, let's see. Going through... The Deciders... Keeper Mulligan. Josh is fine with his. While saying, you know what? I think I need to ship this out. And I think by now, most people are like, okay, Josh is on black white tokens. Mm -hmm. When he comes, he's going to be playing a black white tokens list. That's exactly what happens when you have a, a shot that's a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we still bring in pretty decent numbers, especially for a modern tournament. Um, but you start to kind of like pin what people are playing, and Lyle does a great job of not. Yes. Like he's always switching up. Mm -hmm. Whereas you know, uh, Brett gets stuck on a deck for a while. I like to switch. Sure. I stick for a little bit. And then I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to play this for a week. Yeah. And I'll play that for like two weeks. Okay. I'm back to in fact and get some wins. And I'm going to go back to this deck. And So Arid Mesa for Lyle pass. Interesting. Not leading with the turn one play. Hmm. He's, got, he's got Vexing Devil, Goblin Guide in hand. Interesting. Let's Josh take the first damage. And, oh, Inquisition of Kozilek. All right. Burning tree, burning tree. Atarka's Goblin Guide, Vexing Devil. Uh, okay. So just get rid of the guide. <coughs> Draw. Fetches on main face. Gets the stomping ground. Mm -hmm. Home of the Gruel. Leader, Borborygmos. Good old Cyclops. It's kind of angry. 
Whoa. Burning Tree in Missouri. Burning Tree in Missouri. Vexing Devil. Wow. Um, he says, please get rid of that Vex Devil. Yeah. Slow down, he says. He says, yeah, okay, you can go. I'm going to try to deal four to you next turn if you don't have an answer to that. And this is where he throws down the champion. And Lyle just goes, well, crap. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, but... He also, potential turn two play... Is, Lyle's not laughing, dude. No, but it, like his next like, potential turn two play could be Intangible Virtue. True. Like, those are the big ones that he'll want to be playing. Turn three are Spectral Possession or Lingering Souls. Like, Bitter Blossom's another play, but that's not what you want to be playing here on turn two in this position. If you can help it, that is. So, Oriok Champion. Oriok Champion! 1-1. One, one. Pro Red. Pro Black. Gain a life. When creatures enter under your control. It's like 40 bucks or something like that. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Block. Block one. Now, I don't know if I would have blocked here. You would rather taken the damage? Because Lyle has a Tarkus command. Damage can't be prevented. Oh, so your protection yeah. does not work. Turns out. Turns out. Autarkus Command, good card. What? No way. Not Autarkus Command. Yeah. Best command besides Colgan's. So which is best command? I don't know. I think I think he would lean towards Colgan's. I personally like Colgan's. The rest of the world would probably say Autarkus. Mm -hmm. Some might even say Cryptic. It's not the best command. I don't think so anymore. But it's, I mean, you think of, like, there's really three commands that see play really modern. Down seven. But wait. Is the champion dead? Or do you have to choose that mode? Did you not choose that mode? I think he chose plus one, plus one, and deal three. Oh. That Wait. makes sense, then. Ooh, good save. Uh, yeah, you... Your opponents can't... No, it's your opponents oh, can't, can't gain, gain life. life. Okay, so turn. it's damage. It's not damage. Can't. That's uh, Skullcrack. Skullcrack. That's, that's the yeah. can't... Uh, damage can't be yeah. prevented. Yeah, there you go. All right. So here's experiment one. Josh is at six. I mean, two bolts will do it. But it looks like Lyle may be... Jazz hands. Mm -hmm. Jazz hands. But Spectral Possession could get him right back in this game, and he now has access to three white. True. Which is all you need. Bitter Blossom? Yep. And now this is... This is a very interesting interaction mm -hmm. because basically they counteract each other. They do. It's it lose a life, gain a life, lose a life, gain a life. So if you get down to one, oh no, huh? Nice guy, Lyle. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Don't worry. I'll help you out. I think he's on the. You're going to kill yourself plan. Lyle? Yeah. Absolutely. Except that's a Soren. That is a Soren. 
Now he's on. How do I get rid of that plan? Mm. Here's a vampire. Well, I'm gonna fetch it out. Doesn't run that many land there, so trying to thin out this deck a little bit. So, Josh is slowly ticking down, right? Right. From every new fairy that enters the battlefield. Mm -hmm. But, oh, intangible virtue. All right. And now he can say, uptick Soren. My guys gain lifelink. They also get plus one attack. And they get plus one, plus one from intangible virtue. So, I'm swinging three off of my fairy and four off of my vampire basically resetting life here nine to nine and we'll be seeing enter in the scoop phase as Lyle scoops it up right you know, I mean that's that's the thing like Lyle has to be more aggressive out of the gate and try to kill Josh as quickly as possible mm -hmm. before Josh can get set up like that. Yeah, like, um, once he lands down, like, a Soren, like, Planeswalkers can just end the game um, in these kind of deck matchups. Mm -hmm. Especially one as relevant as Soren that can gain life or make dudes. So... Let's talk sideboards. Who sure. do you want to go with? Um, you know what? I'll uh, I'll read Lyles. I know how much a fan of the Black White Tokens oh, list you are. Um, so he's got two Deflecting Palm, two Path to Exile, one Natural State, one Destructive Revelry, two Forked Bolt, one Gut Shot, one Surgical Extraction, one Shattering Spree, two Lightning Helix, and two Thalia Guardian of Thraben. Mm. Um... Let's see. I like that. Oh. Natural State, Destructive Revelry. Those are cards that I like here just for the uh, destruction of enchantments. Mm -hmm. um, there is also the Lightning Helixes. I assume he runs at least one, two in the main. Probably. Um, I think he probably needs to shuffle it up a little bit and get some more life gain in there. Yeah. Because he's going to start taking a lot of damage very quickly. Like I said, if Josh can get set up, um, Thalia I like, uh, but I question. You know, it's one. Oh well. I think maybe Thalia is probably better than the Lightning Helix is. I think if you're gonna bring in, I think the Thalia lightning heals and destructive revelry are all worth it like if you have five spots to give mm -hmm. those seem to be the big ones that i'd want to bring in okay um thalia does so much work against black white tokens it's insane because you're playing your three mana to get like two dudes three dudes mm -hmm. and usually you're having them to start blocking with start attacking with right away, you know, being being ready mm -hmm. to start doing stuff with it. Well, Thalia just says, no, that's got to enter tapped. No, you're thinking about the the heretic. Oh! This, this is the non-creature spell cost one more. Oh, never mind yep. then. Ignore me. Yep. Uh, but I think even this Thalia is in, is in a good position. But she's not bad, yeah. Yeah, uh, because now that spectral possession costs four. Mm. Now that lingering souls cost four. True. Um, so yeah, definitely... Over the lightning helixes, I think. I think the enchantment removal and the thalias are definitely good here. Yeah. Um, so Josh is rocking out with two spell skites, one murderous cut, two core firewalker, two time the reinforcements, two stony silence, two rest in peace, two sundering growth, and two surgical extraction. So he's got he's not a fan of artifacts. Again, that seems to be the go-to theme. Right. Um, 
But the stuff that he can definitely bring in here. Um, Core Firewalker, Time the Reinforcements. Um, those are the big, like, hey, you should bring these in. Um, Murderer's Cut and Spell Skites are potential. Mm -hmm. Core Firewalker does more work because he knows Lyle has those red creatures. Um, he also has those red spells like Lightning Bolts, at Tarkus Command, they'll gain some life off of. Time the Reinforcements. Lyle can get a lot of creatures really quickly and deal a lot of damage. So by turn three, if you're playing timely reinforcements, gain six, get three soldiers. Um, I think those are, are fine here. Like the spell skite, an 04 blocker is nice, um, and you can redirect like a bolt or something like that, but I don't know if it's necessarily where you want to be if you want to shave too much out of your regular stuff. Uh, again, the murderer's cut, killing off a creature, but he should have access to path and you know other removal in the main board that maybe that murderer's cut isn't necessary. So that's that's what I'm thinking for that. Um, looks like we've got Strong Smash sitting in the chat at, trying to figure out points. I don't know if this one is up to date right now. Mm, not yet, but you can check on. Um, the page there, it's got week number four. Doesn't have week five yet, but it will. Soon enough for all you guys, because we're in our final match for week number five. And the players are drawing up their hands, seeing if they can keep them, if they have to mulligan. Ooh, revealing a card. Bingo. That goblin guy got revealed on accident. Not that we didn't know that was in the deck, but still, that's a bingo spot. So I wasn't there, so my points are the same. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So both going to six? Mm hmm. We'll see a player go to five and win. Maybe. Man, standing on Monday's killing the viewers? Could be. Could be. Are people watching? Or, oh, I guess people playing on Mondays now, huh? They are. Oh. Yeah. Standard's fun again. True. That's what I hear. Uh, as you can tell, Is that uh, all that's all. That's all Kaladesh, dude. So I'm trying to. What? I was trying to put. I was looking at some some budget lists, seeing what was going on. Mm -hmm. I figured, you know, if everyone's drinking the Kool Aid, drinking the Kool Aid, Kool -Aid yeah, too. why not? Uh, but Lyle gonna go to 18 off of that. Selesnia. No, that Temple Garden. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Temple Garden into an experiment one. It's also a win a box. So, on the days. They went back to that. So, And Inquisition of Kozilek off a of Godless Shrine from Josh. Alright. Um, Mixing Devil. Lightning Bolt. That... Other Cyclopsy guy, you can pay a red and green, give a guy plus four, plus four. Is it a Cyclops? Trample. I don't know, probably. No, Gruel. I all think it's a worm. No, that wasn't a worm. Yeah. No. It's a Gruel dude. If Ben was here, it was probably, he would know. He would know. Um, he likes that card. He does. I forgot the name of the card. It's some sort of Ravager. Maybe. So, Josh at 17. But... Just a question. Will Gruul prevail or will Orzhov prevail? Well, we saw what Orzhov can do. Mm. And okay. honestly, I think... I think... I, I don't know. I don't, even, I don't think I even want to say it. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Oh, so we did bring the spell skite. So here's the spell skite.
Gonna go to 17 off of that windswept heath. Not as an explosive start for Lyle here, but really getting himself set up. Well, he's just looking for another creature to start turning on that Evolve trigger. Yeah. Off the Experiment 1. Well, there's a Vaccine Devil, though. Oh, nice. That'll do it. I'm a big fan of the Vaccine Devil. Yeah? Yeah, I remember when it came out, and I was like, man, I need all of these. And then when I tried to, like, start playing more serious, I had, like, a Rakdos deck with Vecting Devils, and flings, and active treasons, and all kinds of silly shenanigans. And then I found out about this whole, like, competitive side of things. You with... decided flings and active treason wasn't mm -hmm. your... It wasn't good enough, sadly, uh, when you're playing against, like, Jund. Because <laughs> that, was, that was down in the, uh, you know, Innistrad day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Going, right as we were going into uh, uh, Ravnica block, so. So, yeah. Evolve trigger off the Vexing Devil. Josh will say, let's get that Vexing Devil out of here. And he's going to take six damage. Mm -hmm. Putting him to ten. Now, we saw this before, where it just wasn't enough pressure, and Josh was able to start building up Yeah. with the help of that Oriac champion. Special possession. Timely. Ooh, even better. Three 1-1 one, one soldiers, six, six life. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and reset back to where we were. Here's my soldiers. I'll be at 16, and I'll pass. Yikes. Definitely not what Lyle wants to see. Combat. Path to exile. Lyle may be okay with this. We need another land. He is at 17, so it's definitely yes. not... I mean, that's not that scary. Yeah. Three 1-1 one, one soldiers. Now, a bunch of intangible virtues. That's one Or thing. like Gideon or Soren coming down. Right. Then that's when things get really scary. Because he's at four mana. Mm -hmm. Like, Josh is now in that kind of alarm bell should be going off. Things can get real scary. Mm-hmm. And... Intangible. So that's six damage now that's on board. Oh, and then the champion comes. Combat. Two, four, six. Puts Lyle down to 11. Another Vexing Devil. All right, this is like tough. So he's got Essentially four mana with that Simeon Spirit guy. Yeah. Remove it. Get a red. Four mana. Here's my Cyclops Worm guy. Four four with Trample, I think. Not everyone in Gruul is a Cyclops. I know. There's like some centaurs and some... Some satyrs. Yeah. Some elves. They, I don't think there's many elves in Gruul. I'm gonna find one. Alright. Oh, Burning Tree was a human. Yeah. Go go get on this this Gruul train. Gruul elf ball. <laughs> Blood brain elf. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I yeah, I'll let that slide. You know, I'll let that one slide. We can we'll say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is blood braid elf not good enough? As I mean, she's, elf? <laughs> she's, yeah. 
she's, you know, not from Ravnica or nothing. She's not a member of the Gruul Guild. But I, I, she's the closest thing to a Gruul Elf there is. She's red-green. She's an elf. She looks pretty berserky. All right. Spectral Possession came out. Gaining a bunch of life here. Wow, yeah, that's, uh... This is just not good. This... This is actually a really bad matchup for it a is, while. It is a horrid wow. matchup. Because, like, you got to burst them down, but as it gets to that, like, mid-game style, like here, it just doesn't help. All right, Atarka's... Rah! Rah! This is kind of a last-ditch effort. Uh, cause Lyle's down to five and there's six flying damage on board. Yeah. I mean, I'm always a proponent of maybe my opponent's not going to do what I think they're going to do. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, look, yeah. Nice. Okay. So he, he's like, all right, here's the last bit that I've got. I'll throw a bolt at you. And now I'm just dead and extends the hand right afterward. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a proponent of, gosh, I really hope my opponent's going to forget that they can, you know, attack. No, I think you've got, like, I'm always, I like to fake out my opponents a little bit, too. You? No. <laughs> Never. No way. Like, I like to put the fear in them. So, like, the next time that we play, you know, I could get you. And then, like, most of the time I don't really have it. Right. But I like to put the fear in them. And so, like, when they're like, oh, I was real scared to attack, and then I just immediately extend the hand. Like, yeah. So, story time. Okay. Since talking about putting the fear in people. Remember? Remember that time when we played Modern? <laughs> and you played Mill? Uh-huh. I do remember this. And uh, we played... There's a, somebody it was new. Like, it was like during a day, and there was somebody <laughs> new, and he was playing like the, the Blue Red Affinity. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you know, with the, the giant scissors and everything. Yeah, I do remember that. And... Um, he had fetch lands, and he didn't know what archive trap was, and you're just a rude dude. And I think you had two? Yes. You had two. Um, and you archive trap him, so he has to mill 26 cards. So he was like, never again. <laughs> I'm never fetching like, I'm again. I'm never fetching again. I'm not going to surge. Yeah. And I'm playing, I think I'm playing Junk. And I think you, I you was around use, the time I was playing junk. You would use like a ghost quarter or something like that, I think. I think I yeah, it was either ghost quarter or path to exile, which by the way is still mm. the best card. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, yeah. And I said, Hey dude, uh, you can go get a land if you want. <laughs> and, and this was after that. Like we played like two or three rounds and then I finally played him. And he's like, No, I'm not doing that. I was like, <laughs> what? what? Who doesn't want to get free I land? Mean, I, I guess you, you have that option, you don't have to. And I, I waited for after the match. I was like, hey, why didn't you... Uh... And he goes, well, when I played this one dude, he got me and milled me 26 <laughs> cards when I did that. Putting the fear in And I was like, <laughs> oh, I know which dude you're talking about. It's a scumbag. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, it's just sort of the things that you see here at Modern Magic Mondays. Scumbag man. Let's, uh, let's, Putting the fear in people. Let's bring the deck back. We need to. Yeah. It seems like a good one to run right now in this hyper aggressive meta. Yeah, you run uh, <laughs> uh, Glimpse the Unbreakable. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking. We can get there. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag man is a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> can we have that like on the back of the shirt of like talking about lands on the back? Yeah. Hashtag yeah. scumbag man or yeah. hashtag man, man is a beats jerk. up super new players. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't beat up. I put the fear in them. There's, you know, no, you I think I lost up. that match against him, but I scared him so much that he wouldn't wouldn't search his library against Brett. <laughs> he wouldn't. I was like, dude, I don't even run blue. Like, yeah, you're, but I guess it doesn't see, matter. That's you, true. I like, lost zero when you search. Yeah. Um, so that is it. The fifth and final round of tonight, guys. We'll check our points. Do all that kind of normal stuff that we do. Say goodbyes. Tell you guys what other stuff we're working on. But I mean, let's let's tell them how great they are first. Yeah. Yeah. You know, before we look at points. Well, yeah. And then you know the normal sign out stuff. Yeah. I'm not trying to rush through. All right. Perfect. You know. Hey. Thank you guys. You watching at home? Absolutely. Watching at home. Watching live. Watching on the vods at Modern Magic Mondays on YouTube. 
watching them here Twitch. on Twitch after the fact. I know some people do that. Mm. Um, it means the world to us, as always. We've said it two times tonight, and it sticks even more now. Mm -hmm. um, we really can't do this without you guys, so thank you all so much. We have some some patron some patrons that uh, donate at a high enough backer level that they get to have a nice little you know logo tag sitting on the stream to kind of promote them as much. So we've got trip at Comic Kung Fu where we take all of this content and put it up for you guys. Exclamation point sticker. I guess we could probably get that started too. Oh, so you keep talking about this. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll start the giveaway. So we got Trip, the store owner at Comic Kung Fu, who lets us come in, set up all of this stuff, record matches, and uh, also does the payouts. So I think, I think a big shout out goes to him because you know you play in these invitationals with us, and you get to uh, earn store credit at the end if you are numero uno. Numero one. Um, also to Christopher Bennett, Dionysus Bacchus, Table Judge Extraordinaire, uh, expert filler inner when needed for the stream, um, as well as the general manager of Cork Street Tavern. Official Pokestop of Modern Magic Mondays. The official Pokestop. Now, I will say this. I thought Pokemon Go was dead, except for you. And then they did an interview with Guy on Star City during the Legacy Open uh -huh. uh, that is basically in charge of uh, movie trivia buff. Nice. I like that, too. Mm -hmm. uh, the Commander True. Versus series. Yeah. He came on. He was playing Legacy. He was talking. And he was talking about how he still plays Pokemon Go. So it's just you and this one guy. Bauer plays, too. We were talking about it at the recital. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's still a thing. It's still a thing. Um, they're, they're still making $2 million a day. I mean, I guess that's quite a bit of money. I don't have $2 million every day. Right? So, exactly. you know, there's, there's a couple people around the world. Like, just a couple. Just a couple. <laughs> and then to Matthew Manson, <laughs> not able to, not backing enough. Not, you know, to support, to have a logo up, but definitely enough to get a big shout out each and every Monday. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, just loving the fact that we're able to kind of support the, the Magic the Gathering scene here yes. in Winchester, Virginia. All right. And we've, of course, got our top stream donations that's helped us get new camera, play mats, stickers, dice. And actually, we've got a giveaway going for the stickers right now. Soon to be... T-shirts and other what, goodies. What do you think about those lands? Hashtag Nanza scumbag. <laughs> That's just going to have a negative connotation if we do that. You think so? Yeah, because then every, every time you go, hey, what do you think of those lands? Everyone's going to be like, oh, oh yeah. Scumbag Nan. This is Nan talking bad about the lands. <laughs> he judging my lands. Yeah, over here, here this we guy. go. Can't believe him. Here we go. That's all right. I'll take responsibility for making people be judgy about lands. Um... I don't know. We can figure out some good ones to start with. I think Cavern of Souls naming dinosaurs. I, I think we it's could good have, like too. a little dinosaur or something yeah. on it too. Like yeah. we could do some good stuff. Um, and then just a just the picture of old fogey on the back. No, <laughs> we could too. See, we got some stuff we can do, guys. We can do we'll this. figure it out. Um, so let me talk about, of course, our top stream donations. So we talked about all the cool stuff that you guys have done for us and help get um, improve the stream overall. We've got our nice ticker going up at the top here. Because our number one in our hearts, Drewski Brew, popped up. Missed out on the Halloween special with our costumes. And I mean, I was looking pretty good. I mean, mm -hmm. you know. From San Diego. Uh, we've also got our mystery donor, Atticus. Meowing it up, running around, being crazy, sometimes donating, which is awesome. Uh, Tatradamus, Dionysus Bacchus, Lila Goyf, Nate Hop 34 Burgleton, Stormdust07, Badger934, Strog Smash, and Weeaboo Wet Dreams. So, thank you guys. Thank you. You all are awesome. Mm -hmm. um, check us out as well. At Farmers R&R. &R, at The Real Name Man. And of course, at Modern Mondays. Yes. <laughs> not at Modern Magic. <laughs> that is not a thing on Twitter. You do not want to message that guy. He got upset when I did it yeah. on accident. Took our name. But, follow us on Twitter. We are sometimes funny. And you always get updates with... At Modern Mondays. Yeah, about what's going on. We also, like, if there's modern articles and stuff, that Twitter will also post about it. Trying to keep you guys more informed, not just about stuff we're doing, but just stuff yeah. within the scene right. as well. Um, remember that time that we talked about Restore Balance and then mm -hmm. Scred Red one. Yeah, so we got some cool insights like that for you guys. 
Um, we've been doing some other content outside of Modern Magic Monday. So why don't you tell a little bit about speed running and other fun stuff you've been doing? Yeah, so I, I mean, basically, I'm your your general friendly neighborhood variety streamer. Play, RPG guy. I play video games online for you guys. Just want, you know, really just kind of have everyone come in, hang out. I'll play a video game, and then every once in a while, I'll try and play it quickly. Um, you know, doing Final Fantasy VII any percent. Uh, we PB'd yesterday, mean? personal best. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so we're... How, the, how much did you shave down? Eight minutes. Nice. Eight minutes. Yeah, That's so it's, a pretty good jump. So it's 322 right now. Um, we went from 330 to 322, and um, it's it's been a blast. I won't lie. But yeah, that's that's really what we're doing. You know, casual playthroughs. Um, I do have a nice little Google Doc going on on my channel now at twitch.tv slash farmazurinar where you can uh, basically just let me know, like, hey, what do you want to see? And we'll put it in the list. We'll put up straw polls when we get close to the time to start picking a new game. Mm. And then it's, it's up to everyone else on what we play. And that's Sweet. just on casual Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays. Good stuff. And yeah. then just variety of gaming throughout the week. When yeah, you yeah, have time. yeah. You know, we're really, I'm really practicing the speed running thing. Mm -hmm. But I want to see Street Fighter. Look, we still got to do, do that. a whole bunch of other games too, because we have some games that we've been doing together. Our Pokemon race. It's true. It's, it's true. still in the works. I'm still winning. He's still winning. The, the doc is still there to prove that I'm still winning. Um, we've also got. Throw down Thursdays. Ooh. I'm busy on Thursdays. Yeah, casual Thursday. Casual. We've also we've got some more drinking games in the works and Throw stuff down like Tuesday. that. Um, I got to get my computer fixed. You do. That's really sad. <sighs> I'm gonna fiddle with it on Wednesday and see if I can get it working, um, or, but, if, or if I need to order parts. But what if your your PC was working? What would you be doing? Right if now? my PC was working, yeah. then we'd have the Let's Play with Hanaho. Our crowd would be back up and running on Sundays. Nice. So in the, we'll be popping up again. I'm going to start doing some some leagues for Magic Online. Okay. Um, because I've got a couple decks and just trying to do a little bit of extra content back on the real Nan Man. I did a sealed pool practice mm -hmm. over there and. Posted it up on YouTube and stuff for those that missed it. I haven't posted it up on Twitch yet. I'll probably broadcast it up this week um, for those to watch. Basically, I opened up six Kaladesh boosters and talked about some of the cards in it and tried to make a a deck, essentially, with it. You should try the upload feature. I don't mean to interrupt No, you, I, I, I noticed that actually the yeah. other day. I see haven't tested it yet. See so. what Twitch has to offer in terms of upload if you don't want to stream it. you know. That's smart. I might do that. Might play around with that. Yeah. So, um, Overwatch. Yeah, we've got we've got the new character coming for Overwatch. Sombra, dude, she is. I saw the tr the, uh, the cinematic. The cinematic. Dude, yeah, that was awesome. Was like, mm, that was okay. awesome. This is pretty on point. Um, but once my computer gets fixed, then I might be starting to do some more stuff. We got to get back into Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, we do. So, do you guys see Ragnaros? You guys play that game? <laughs> and He's huge. <laughs> he doesn't even have legs. He just comes out of the ground. <laughs> So there's some cool stuff going on. I've been playing some more Hearthstone, too. Um, oh, did you see the stuff that they revealed for Hearthstone? I haven't had a chance to look through it yet. I just saw like the trailer for it and was like, oh, all right, cool. Mean Streets of Gadget Zone? Yeah, that seems pretty sweet. Try class cards? What? Yeah, you didn't hear about that? No, this? I didn't hear about oh, okay, that. We got to talk about real Man, quick. all right. All right, try <laughs> class cards. If you play, they're like clans, right? Or like okay. uh, guilds. All right. Uh, but they're like street guilds. Right? You know, like, there's orcs and trolls that look like they've got the hats uh, like that. Okay. And, yeah. Right. But you have to be, like, if you're in one certain guild, it's only, like, warrior, paladin, and priest class. can play that. Okay. Or, mm -hmm. like, mage, rogue, and... Which I think is just going to be super broken. I, I don't remember the exact specifics, but the tri-class. That seems sweet. Right? I like that. Yeah, idea. it's going to be awesome. So fun stuff going for, for some Overwatch. Um, or I mean, so, well, for Overwatch, Heroes, and Hearthstone, because BlizzCon was over the weekend, so like... It was. It was hype. All kinds of stuff. Actually, I was watching some esports over the weekend. Mm. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. To be honest. Yeah, right? <laughs> hype train, guys. Get on that hype train. So, let's look at the points, see who won our sticker, because we do this every single week for all those that are able to tune in live. We've got that going for you guys, so... Ooh! And the winner is... Taxes... For days. 
So let's take a look at our points. Congratulations. Taxes for days. We've got a sticker coming for you. Did I miss it? Am I not paying attention? Scroll down. It's, um... I'll close that one. This one? No. The other one. There you go. Bum, bum, bum. Ben has fallen down. But being the gatekeeper that I was... TJ and I battled in the last round. I helped him get those last couple oh, points. Oh, nice guy. To, uh, he crushed me. <laughs> nice guy. Oh, I saw it. Don't worry. I saw it. <laughs> yeah, you were rooting I for was TJ. There, yeah. <laughs> I saw it. Don't worry. So TJ and Lyle sitting 51 points tied for... Oh, call text support. Tied for first and second place right now. Ben sitting in third place. 49 points. Josh, 48 points. Julia, 42 like I was talking about, we're starting to see that gap. It's, it's starting to come out oh. now. Chris Carosa. He's in it. 36 points. Gotta hold it down. Woo! Look Jamie, out. Jamie and Keenan. Mm-hmm. Tim, Tim 31. 31 points. Yeah. And Jeremy, 29. Uh-oh. Gotta start playing for keeps he'll, now. He'll be out for like a week, another week or two, and then he'll just come in and just like, hold down that eighth spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mox sitting at 28 points, Johnny Boyd 24, Dwayne 21, Ryan 21, Bauer 19, and Michael at 19. I told Chris that he just needs to come in and just continue wrecking. Mm -hmm. What? I have to show up. <laughs> this season's a little bit more cutthroat, I'd say. Yeah. Like, it's definitely a much tighter race for our top. I mean, uh, we we tend to see that, though. Like, the uh, top 16 is usually... by Week 10, you can really tell who has been coming out mm -hmm. and playing. Yeah. So. I thought, you no, know, you get invited for the big one at the end. Oh. The big one at the end. Which is coming up fast. We gotta, we gotta start planning. Figure that. Figure that <laughs> we gotta out. figure things out. Yeah. Make it work. I thought we were just gonna roll. I thought you can just wing it. Yeah. Like we normally do. Alright, so that's gonna really do it for us here tonight, guys, at Modern Magic Mondays. End of week number five. That means there's only five more weeks to go <sighs> so halfway there halfway there alright guys we'll see you guys next week for some more modern magic monday action we